Hi YouTube, Christine here, Skinny Brit to Be. Uh, coming to you with my week 130, 136 post RNY, 48 weeks in maintenance. Uh, so what have I been up to? Oh, for those of you who don't know, I had gastric bypass in January 2011. I um, when I started this journey, I was 336 pounds, yes, and I'm now floating around 145, 148. Um, I've been back up to about 152, 153, and dropped back down again. So in the last year, I've, ju I've just been floating between 145 and about 153 which is fine by me, it just depends on my mood, what I've eaten, um, how many times I've been to the loo, etc, 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 but I seem to be fairly stable, etc, on the way I'm eating. So what have I been up to? Um, well, since the last time I saw you, um, quite a lot seems to have happened. To start with, I've broken my wrist. I slipped about three weeks ago on my son's... Um, um, decking went over absolute skidded to an absolute halt my feet went from underneath me and I fell backwards uh, and used this hand and I had a cup of coffee in the other hand which I didn't spill a drop of but uh, this this sort of took the brunt of it etc luckily it's just a, a, a small simple fracture no displacement or anything I can move my fingers but I can't do much with it because it hurts to put any pressure on on my arm or hand at all, etc. So I'm pretty limited as to what I can do. Um, just some of the simple things, you know, I, I'm a great um, dehydrator of um, fruit and vegetables, etc. And of course it's the apple season and I've got apples galore. Um, I, I dehydrate all my... Uh, apples that I can't that I either don't want to eat now or can't don't want to freeze I dehydrate them and then during the winter they are an absolute perfect snack for me because I can have half a dozen pieces uh, of apple instead of having to say eat a whole whole apple when I'm when I'm hungry so it, it's sort of my it becomes my snack food during the winter my go-to food if I really need something during the winter just to stave off a, an itch, an itch for something sweet and slightly chewy, etc. Because apples doesn't seem doesn't seem to go really crisp, it always seems to go slightly sort of chewy, which is just what what I very often feel I need. So but the funny thing about my um when I did my wrist, the little nurse that was um, that put the first plaster on me, she said, oh, we're doing a survey at the moment. She said on, um, on people over the age of 55 that have had a fall from standing position and broken arms or wrists, etc. And she said, because um, we're doing the, start, the research is into osteoporosis. So um, she said, would you be prepared to take part? And I said, yes, that'd be fine. So, um, remind me to go back again a bit before that story. Um, anyway, I had to go back to the hospital two days later um, to have this cast put on because to begin with they put one of those awful, extremely heavyweight plaster casts on which went right up to my elbow which meant I couldn't bend my arm so I couldn't I couldn't even put a fork to my mouth, even if I was able to hold a fork, etc., or a spoon. And I'm left-handed, so that was a um, another concern. So anyway, I went back to have my cast, uh, and this new cast put on, and, and the same little nurse was there, and she said, are you still prepared to take part? So I said, yes. And it was a few simple questions. Age, do you smoke, do you drink? Uh, have you ever broken a bone before, which I hadn't? Um... I've had plenty of falls, but I, I've never broken a bone, despite all the falls I've had when I've been um, extremely overweight. Um, I've, I've never broken anything, which is, when I think back, that's sort of quite surprising, you know, considering some of the really hefty wallops I've gone down with in the past. 
and um, anyway she said I've got to put this all onto the computer she said would you mind you know just sort of waiting around out in the waiting room just for a couple of minutes she said well I'll get it sorted she said, I'll come back to you and let you know if there's anything else I need to know so we hung around and hung around and and after about 10 minutes, there was absolutely no sign of her. And I thought, well, it takes it doesn't take that long. I know that staff are busy, etc., etc. But I'd already been there well over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, sort of hanging around seeing the doctor, etc. And I was just, quite honestly, I was pissed off. So, um, so I said, OK, we'll give her a couple more minutes. So my husband set his watch. <laughs> He's very literal. And... Um, so two minutes later, we, we set off and the, the fracture clinic is way down the end of an extremely long corridor in the uh, hospital and we just got to the far end and my husband heard somebody shouting and we turn around and there's this little, little, this little nurse cheering down the corridor, desperate to pe catch up with me. And she was so apologetic. She said, I've been talking to the doctor all this time. She said, about you. She said, I, you know, she said, I entered everything on the computer, she said, but then, then it, you know, sort of, I had to go and speak to the doctor about you. And uh, she said, if you come back, you know, I'll explain. Anyway, it turns out that because of, because of everything, um, I'm actually at medium risk of having osteoporosis. So she said, would I, um, would I be prepared to go for a... Um, a low density scan to check me for osteoporosis. So I said, yes, uh, that's all right. I'm already going for a CT scan, which is another story. <laughs> um, I said, in for a penny, in for a pound. I said, my husband always says we ought to have a season ticket for this hospital because we spend most of our time there. What with his um, small problems and not so small problems um, and and my hospital trips etc it just becomes a bit laughable the moment you sort of turn anything pension age ball <laughs> you seem to spend all your time at the doctors or the hospital uh, either being checked or not or them doing something to you so so anyway so I've got to go next Tuesday I go for a low porosity scan um Pains that I was having in my stomach, which I didn't know was whether it was connected with the bypass or the gallbladder removal <laughs> or what. Um, they put me on some new medicine and they're also sending me for a CT scan, which again is, is next Tuesday. They're doing the two sort of in the same department at the same time. I've managed to tie those up, so that means where they'll be one less actual tropes backwards and forwards to the hospital so hopefully I'll have some answers to that but um, I must admit the pains in my stomach do seem to have subsided quite a, quite a lot um, with this new medicine um, I think it's what some of you have been given in the past I think the Americans get a version called Carifate in England it's called Sucralfate and um, I also discovered that um, I was pr I, I was aware of it, but one of the reasons that things like the omniprazoles or the pantoprazoles or the lansoprazole don't work quite so well for gastric bypass patients is simply because they are slow release, which means that they are intended to stay in your gut for extended periods of time and gradually release the uh, necessary ingredients to help with your stomach acid etc or gut you know, acid in the gut or wherever it deals with it etc but because we have a, um, a, a very small stomach and because we have a, um, a reduced size gut um, intestines um, of course it doesn't stay where it's supposed to for so long so consequently, that that was one of the reasons why they don't seem to last all day. The effect of them, etc. Um, very often by by lunchtime, certainly middle of the afternoon, I was already after having taken one in the morning. I was always beginning to feel at really acidy again, etc. But this sucralfate does seem to have um, some does seem to have helped, etc. So. And I've actually stopped taking the um, 
the antacid ones as, as well, the omnip omniprazzles or the lens opera. So depending which which packet I picked up, so I, I've got supplies which I've been trying for what feels like months and months and months. But, um, but anyway, yes. Oh, and a solitary lesson. If you fall, if you fall on a Saturday and your wrist hurts and it's still killing you by Sunday and you can't use it, don't. Don't be like me and wait till Wednesday to find out that you've actually broken your wrist. That was, um, yeah. With hindsight, that was sort of really silly, but I, I, ju I just thought really that I, because of all the times in the past that I've fallen and, uh, you know, joints have hurt, etc., I really did just think that it was a sprain. Um, muscles or ligaments, you know, and I, I put on a little wrist strap that my husband had, um, which was, you know, sort of helping but but as I say by Wednesday the pain was still just as bad if not worse so don't leave it just go and get it checked don't be stupid like I was but uh, luckily it hadn't done any more damage because it was so painful I couldn't use it so it hadn't been put under any more stress etc and it had been strapped okay so what else um Vitamins and minerals. I'm still taking all my vitamins and minerals. I'm due for a B12 injection shortly, um, which may explain why I do feel rather lethargic. Yes. I, I certainly don't feel bouncing with energy, etc. I do find it quite difficult to get off my bum and do anything. Um, but I suppose that could be the medicine and the pain and the everything else. But, but hey, the weight's staying stable, thank God. Despite eating um, apple strudel, I made some apple strudel. Um, but again, I did, um, I, I still journal everything that I eat and I create the recipes um, and I check how much it is per portion and I, you know, religiously journal it, etc. Um, for those of you who don't know, I use myfitnesspal.com. If you want to befriend me on there, I, uh, I think I'm Christine. Am I Christine? Christine, what am I on? Skinny Brit. I am Christine Skinny Brit to be on my fitness pal if, if you want to befriend me then um, just put in a short message to say that you know me from YouTube anyway that's all I've done an update you know where I am now I think my battery is flashing that it's going to collapse on me so I'm, I'm going to leave you hope you're all doing well thank you for watching bye folks bye